Let me put the spotlight on me. There we go. Right. So uh, it's a beautiful day here. So I hope the sunshine doesn't. Oh, it's lovely here as well. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just <laughs> I'm just right. down my dog from my dog. I know it's lovely, yeah. So uh, everybody's sitting, they've got their feet comfortably full, you know. Comfortably on the floor, either on a book or just flat on the floor. So that ideally remember you've got um, your your knees at a right angle like that. So I've got my block uh, and let's start walking. So up and down, let's get those legs moving. I'm trying, if you can, keep your toes a bit up and, and make your heels hit the floor. So remember it's a heel to floor contact, keeps your bones strong and healthy. That's I can't do the, Carolyn, I can't do the heel on my right foot because of the operation with a pin in it. No, don't worry then. Do what you can, right? So anything that's not right for you, don't do it. Oh, look, we've got Valerie's joined us. Hi, Valerie. Hi. <laughs> so Hi. let's try and get the knees a bit higher. So everybody keep going. Have your foot flat now. So have your foot flat. I can already feel my thighs getting tired. So keep moving. Just, and perhaps move your arms. Just swing your arms a bit. So let's warm up a little. So quite nice movement. It's very hard to walk, to move your feet and hands at the same time, I think. And then just come back, just have a rest. I, I'll kick my mat out, my block out. So, just stand, uh, not stand, you're going to do sitting mountain pose, so press your feet into the floor. Just feel your thighs engage. Try and sit nice and tall, so you draw your tummy muscles in, draw your chin in, arms just by your side for a moment or two. So press into your feet, draw in your tummy, lift your breastbone. Draw your chin in, lots happening. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax your legs. So that's quite hard work just doing that. We're going to start with um, toes and feet. So just lift your, uh, Heel off the floor so you can rest your, your toes off the floor. You're resting your heel and then scrunch your toes up. Spread them out. Scrunch your toes up. Spread your toes apart. Scrunch them up. Spread them out. Scrunch them up. One more time. Spread them out. Scrunch them up. Then just move to the other foot. So lift your toe up. Heel, your heel on the floor, your toes are up. Just spread them apart, scrunch them up. 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 And then just bring your feet back. So let's start ankles. So lift your foot off the floor and circle your ankle. So just get your ankle moving. Remember, if it's not for you, for some reason, don't do it. Just visualize. Go the other way. Make your ankle go the other way. And then let's swap sides. So lift your other foot off your floor, off the floor, and circle. So just circle your ankle. And then go the other way. And then just have a rest. Just point your foot forward so your toes are pointing forward. And then push your heel away from you. Toes point, heel. 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 
Him. Toes point. Him. Toes point. Heel. Last one. Toes point and heel. And then bring that foot back on the floor. We'll swap sides. So point your toes, then heel. Toes, 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 heel. And then just bring that foot on the floor. Just have a rest. Just sit nice and tall. Draw in your tummy. Press onto your feet. Lift your breastbone. Draw your chin in. Close your eyes. So almost as though you're about to stand. You've got that pressure on your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then just take your leg out in front of you. So try and get the underside of your knee nice and flat. So that's you tightening your kneecap. So I don't know if you can even see it. So you tighten it. So you have to press the back of your knee down and then relax it. Tighten your kneecap. Relax it. Tighten your kneecap, 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 relax it. One more. Tighten your kneecap and relax it. So just bring that leg back. So you're going to do the other side. So it's as though you press the back of your knee down. So you tighten your kneecap. Relax it. 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 Let's do two more. Tighten your kneecap. Relax it. Tighten your kneecap and relax it. Just bring your feet back in front of you. Just press into your feet. Feel your thighs just engage. Draw in your tummy. Lift your breastbone. Arms nice and relaxed. Draw your chin in. Look perfect at posture. Just sitting. You're still working quite a lot of muscles. And then relax. So just slip your hands beneath your legs. So we're going to do the straightening and bending. So as you straighten your breathing in, bend and breathe out. So breathe in and straighten. Breathe out, bring that thigh towards you. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out, draw it in. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out, bring it towards your chest. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Two more, everybody. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then just drop that leg onto the floor and we'll do the other side. So just slip your hands under. So breathe in, straighten your leg. Breathe out, pull it towards you. Breathe in, straighten it. Breathe out, pull it towards you. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out. Last one, everyone. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then just place your foot back on the floor. And we're going to do the clasping again. So clasp beneath your leg. So this time you're drawing the circle. Remember, it's a narrow circle. So draw a circle with your big toe. Just to strengthen the muscles around your knees. 
quite hard to strengthen those muscles. So this is a good way. Cool. And then go the other way. Got the dog outside. If you heard it. So nice narrow circles with your big toe. Let's make this one the last. And then just drop that leg. And we're back to the other side. So if you lock your hands, so let's make the circle. So one. Cool. So keep making your circles. And then let's go the opposite way around. Ah, I've got a horrible feeling. My feet are very black underneath. I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope not. And I apologize <laughs> if I do. So let's make the next one the last. And then just release your leg. Back to walking. Let's get those knees lifted. So, so think about really lifting your knees. So nice. You're doing all the same things as walking. It's just that you've not got all that pressure on your knees, your feet, hips. And then just relax. So, Let's do the straightening and bending. So breathe in, straighten your leg, breathe out, lift your knee. Breathe in, straighten your leg, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Let's make this the last. Breathe in, breathe out, and then just drop that leg to one side and let's go to the other. So breathe in, straighten it, breathe out, bend, breathe, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Let's make this the last, breathe in, breathe out, and feet on the floor. Just take a breath or two. So that's quite hard work. I mean, it's like having your own personal gym, lots of weights on you you can use. So um, we're on to our hips. So not for people with um, problem hips or perhaps even if you've got a replacement hip, just visualize yourself doing this. So this is the one you need to clear your knee off the chair so you can Circle. Try and keep the rest of you quite tall so your tummy muscles working to keep your body as upright as you can. Let's go the opposite way. So start those circles. So it's your knee that's making the circle. You'll feel it working to your hip. Hard work. Again, you can feel the weight of your leg. So let's make this the last and just rest for a moment on that side. Just rub your leg if it's feeling a bit sore. So make sure the other knee, you can clear it off your chair. So let's do the circles. And sit nice and tall so you've got your tummy muscles working. And let's go the other way. Take the circles the other way. That's it. Nice. And then, and then just have a rest. Just take a couple of breaths. So you'll feel all that uh, movement in your legs right up to your hips. So you're doing a lot, even just sitting. So just perhaps take your legs wide. So. Uh, imagine you were a ballet dancer, your feet at that, I can't remember what position that one is. Uh, and so you were about to stand on your feet. So you just slightly take the weight, feel the tightness in your thighs, just draw in your tummy, lift your breastbone, feel your chin drawing in. 
Just take a couple of breaths. Breathe in. And press into your feet. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out and relax. Just wiggle on your feet back to the front. Get ready for the big one, the double leg lift. So see whether it treats you, what you have to get hold of inside of your chair. I'm going to sit a bit back. So two legs. Breathe in straight. Breathe out. Knees up. Breathe in straight. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Two more if you can make it. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. And just bring your feet back on the floor. Just nice soft legs this time. Think about drawing in your tummy muscles. So coming up through your spine, your breastbone lifting, chin draw it in, close your eyes, just take a couple of breaths. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And let's do a nice sideways. Stretch. So have your feet about hip distance apart. Just remember you're going to perhaps slide down the side of a leg if you want, or just hold on to the side uh, of your, well, in fact, hold on to the side of your chair. We'll slide down in the next sequence. So keep hold of that bit of your chair. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, so just hold on to the side of your chair and bend to the side. You're holding the breath. Breathe out and down. So we'll do two more and then we'll try the sliding down a bit. Breathe in. Remember, hold the breath as you just reach over. Try and touch your far wall. Breathe out. So one more. Breathe in. Press into your feet. Just lean over. Really feel the stretch along the side of your waist. Breathe out. So we're going to slide down the chair for the next three. Breathe in. And then breathe out. See what happens if you slide down the side of the chair. Turn your head, look up to your arm. Breathe out. Bring your hand down. So two more. Breathe in. Slide down your chair. Look up to the inside of your elbow. Really stretch, breathe out and down. So we'll all end up with a nice waist at the end of this. Breathe in and then slide down your chair and look up towards your inside of your arm. Breathe out and down. So we're going to do the other side. We're just going to hold this bit of the chair. Um, for the first three. So breathe in and then hold on to your chair. You're holding the breath and just stretch nicely over to the side. Breathe out and breathe in. Perhaps press into your feet, see how that helps. And just go over to the side. Breathe out and one more. Breathe in. You're holding the breath and just nice breathe out and down. So we're going to slide for the next three. Breathe in, perhaps press into the feet, just slide down your chair and then turn your head. Look to the inside of your arm, stretch a bit more. Breathe out and down. So breathe in, slide down your chair. Look up to the inside of your arm and stretch a bit more if you can. Breathe out and down. So one more. Breathe in. Slide down your chair. 
look up towards the inside of your arm, stretch a bit more. Breathe out and down. Just hands on thighs. Just bring your shoulders up to squeeze your neck. And then just relax them down. Breathe in, squeeze your neck. Breathe out, just let them drop. One more time. Breathe in, just squeeze your neck. Breathe out and drop. Then sit nice and tall. Press into your feet. Draw your chin in and drop your chin. Well, it's the back of your neck trying to push upwards towards the ceiling. Swing your head gently like a pendulum. Just free up your neck. And then just come back. Blink your eyes a few times. So we're going to go swimming now. So feet on the floor. So just look behind you. So you're going to do front crawl. So bring your arm. So you're looking as you take your arm behind you. So it's a slight twist. Bring your arm down. So turn your head. Look at your hand. And we've done three. Let's just keep going. So nice. Swinging of your arm, your shoulders, keep them nice and loose. We're going to do one more and we're going to start doing back crawl with that hand. So once you're back to the front, let's go backwards. So just imagine you're doing back crawl. So turn your head to look at your hand as it goes behind you. Come back and the twist and turn to look at your hand. Nice movement of the shoulders. So Want to keep arm shoulders very uh, workable because you've got to reach up high to shelves in some shops or into cupboards that are high and you need your arms nice and moving to do things like wash hair and stuff. So things you forget that you might uh, need to raise your arms quite a lot. So come, let's do the front crawl um, on the other side. So just look behind you as you bring your hand forward. And you look at your hand. Bring it around. Look at your hand and bring it around. And look at your hand. And bring it around. So just imagine you're swimming rather than sitting uh, on your chair. And let's start to go backwards. So let's do back crawl. Bring your hand, watch it go behind, back to the front. See which you prefer, back or front. And around. So nice. You'll probably feel it tomorrow, uh, the movement, because it's not a movement that uh, you, you do when you're grown up. So just imagine children sort of windmilling their arms, but as you older, not so much. So just bring your hands back onto your lap. And again, sit nice and tall, draw in your tummy, draw in your chin and drop your chin. Let's do the pendulum. Start it the other way, if you can remember. Which way you started and swing your head side to side. Nice, gentle. And then when you've done the last one, just blink your eyes a few times. So uh, let's do some sideways stretching. So breathe in, bring your arms out to side. Flat hands, breathe out, push against your imaginary wall. Breathe in, relax, breathe out. So as you breathe out, press, press, press. Relax, breathe in. Breathe out, try pressing against your two walls. And relax, just drop your arms by your side just for a moment. Relax your shoulders. We're going to do those three pressings again, but we'll do it breathing slightly differently. So swing your arms up, flat hands. Now let's breathe in and push. 
Breathe in, push your two hands. Breathe out, relax. Breathe in, push your two hands, press into your feet. Breathe out and relax. So breathe in, push your two hands, press into your feet, draw your chin in. Breathe out, relax, drop your arms, hands on your lap, drop your chin, start swinging the other way if you can remember which way you started. Just free up your neck. And then just come back to the front, just blink a few times. Slot your fingers together and turn them facing forwards or have your hands one in front of another. So whichever way, sit nice and tall. Draw in your tummy, draw in your chin. Breathe out, stretch. Breathe in, touch your chest with the backs of your hands. Breathe out, stretch from your shoulders. Feel the skin stretching. Breathe in, bring your hands back. Breathe out, the big stretch. Breathe in and back. Breathe out, the big stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, the big stretch. And just come back, turn your hands. Try and place them on top of your head this time. So palms facing upwards. So press into your feet. Breathe in, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. So you've got your ears being squeezed by your arms. Breathe out, tuck your head. Breathe in, press into your feet. Have your head facing forward to begin with. Elbow straight if you can. Breathe. Breathe in and stretch. Breathe out and Bring your hands in front of you, just shake your arms a couple of times. So make sure your shoulders feel comfortable. So we're going to do the one that you bring your elbows up, you breathe in, so you're squeezing your shoulder blades and you're looking up towards the ceiling and you're holding your breath. When you breathe out, you bring your elbows to touch if you can, drop your chin. So I've got, if you see me sideways, you'll take two breaths like that and then you'll swing your arms back so make sure that your neck is quite soft when you're in that position so we'll do three swinging back and forth so bring your elbows up in front of you make sure you've got room to swing them behind you so breathe in squeeze your shoulders your breastbone is lifting you're looking up to the ceiling and you're holding your breath hopefully breathe out Bring your elbows to touch, drop your chin, take two breaths, breathe in, breathe out, one more breath, breathe in, breathe out, you're ready to dig, breathe in, dig your elbows behind, look up, close your teeth if they're open. Breathe out, bring your elbows in front of you, drop your chin, two breaths, breathe in, breathe out. You should feel the breath pushing against the back of the rib cage. breathe in, breathe out, ready to dig, breathe in, on your elbows, look up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, bring your elbows to touch, drop your chin. Two breaths, breathe in. Breathe out, one more breath, breathe in. Breathe out, just drop your arms. That's quite, a, uh, it doesn't look like you're doing much, but it's quite a big uh, thing to do. Just sit nice and quietly, draw your chin in. Let's take a couple of breaths. Let's do the neck and shoulder stuff while we're in that sitting position. So you'll be turning your head side to side to start with. Second in the sequence, just drop your elbow, uh, elbow ear gently towards your shoulder. The third, remember, is the up and down. And you're taking care of the 
backward stretch of your back. So let's start side to side. So breathe in. Breathe out, turn to one side. Breathe in to the center. Breathe out the other side. Breathe in to the center. Breathe out to the side. Breathe in to the center. Breathe out to the side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out to the side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out to the side. So breathe in, come back to the center, to the start, breathe out. So ear to shoulder. So breathe in, breathe out. Gently drop your ear to one side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out the other side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out to the side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out to the side. Breathe in to the center, breathe out. To the side. Breathe in to the center. Breathe out to the side. Breathe in back to the center. So it's up and down. And be careful not to scrunch the back of your neck. So stay as you are. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drop your chin. Push the back of your neck upward. Breathe in, take your nose to the ceiling, close your teeth. Breathe out, drop your chin to your chest. Breathe in, nose to ceiling, close your teeth. Breathe out, drop your chin. Breathe in. Nose to ceiling, close your teeth. Breathe out, just drop your chin to your chest and then nice and gently draw circles with your forehead. Keep your teeth shut. Do three big circles one way and choose a color. Just visualize your circle in a color. and do three the opposite way. So no rush, just enjoy that movement. When you've done your last one, just blink your eyes a few times. So just blink your eyes, just come up into sitting and then perhaps come back to your legs so make sure your legs aren't getting cold or neglected just nice walking you just lift your knees keep your tummy drawn in slightly just get your legs moving then just bring your feet back flat on the floor we're going to move to hands so Stretch your hands out. So I'll come a bit close. I'm standing if you want me. Stretch your hands out. Make fists. So thumb is on the inside. Stretch your fingers. Make fists. 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 Last one. Stretch your fingers. Make fists. Then have your hands flat. So nice flat hands. I'll do it sideways. And then try and touch the insides of your forearms. So flat, touch forearms. Flat, forearms. Flat, forearms. Flat, forearms. Last one. Flat and forearms. Just shake your hands in between. 
shake your arms, elbows, and then just uh, make fists with your thumb on the inside. So thumb on the inside, keep your elbow straight and circle your wrist. So you might hear the cracking of wrist or jingling. I've got a jingling bracelet. So. And then go the other way around. So take your wrist the other way around. And then just shake your hands, fingers, elbows slightly. Then bring your hands out in front of you and then turn them in so your index fingers touch. So out, in, out, in, out, in, out. So it's a bit of a sideways movement. Make this one the last. And then shake your hands. And it's the flick from your little finger and then back again. Nice and sharp, so you just keep your fingers nice and strong. We'll flick. The next time you come back to your thumb, shake your hands a couple of times. And then just bend your hands backwards. So just bend your part. I've got such a lot of sun here. Palms and the other side. Just bend your hands. And again, just shake your hands a couple of times. So just uh, bring your arms out in front of you, breathe in, breathe out, touch your shoulders, breathe in, really stretch your elbows open, breathe out, breathe in, stretch your elbows, breathe out, one more, breathe in, stretch your elbows, breathe out, keep your fingertips on your shoulders and then circle them. Let your elbows touch, so it's another shoulder exercise, so like you did with your hips. And when you come back to the center, do four the other way. So I think we're on a four. One. Well, that might be two. And just make sure you do the same number each way. And then just shake your arms, your shoulders a couple of times. So let's do the blade. So um, arms by your side, breathe in, arms flop, breathe out, relax your shoulders. So breathe in, pick up a pencil between your shoulder blades, squeeze, 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 draw in your tummy, draw in your chin, really draw in your tummy as much as you can. Release your pencil, your tummy, drop your arms. That was the first. We'll do two more. Breathe in, arms flop. Breathe out, relax shoulders. Breathe in, pick up your pencil, draw in your tummy, quite in, really draw it in. Draw your chin in. Release everything, breathe out, drop your arms. So one more, breathe in, arms flop. Breathe out, relax shoulders. Breathe in, pick up your pencil, draw in your tummy, draw in your chin. Release, breathe out, drop your arms. Looks like you're doing nothing but hard work. So sit nice and tall and again, drop your chin. Push up through the back of your neck and start the swing the other side, if you can remember which side you started. Nice movement. And then just come back to the center, just blink your eyes a couple of times. So you're going to take the hands behind the back of your head, perhaps interlock your fingers. Uh, just make sure you're pressing into your feet. Breathe in, lift your breastbone, really feel that lift. Push your elbows back, look up to the ceiling. And then breathe out, drop your chin, point your elbows down towards the floor. Breathe in, open like a, you're stretching in the morning, your breath or lifting, elbows pushing back. Breathe out, drop your chin, elbows pulling down. Last one, breathe in, open nice and wide. Look up towards the ceiling, so lift through the breast a little, get that nice back bend, breathe out, drop your chin, bring your hands down by your side. Just sit for a moment and take a couple of breaths. So breathe in, 
breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Let's uh, do the twist. So you're going to have your um, feet flat on the floor. So remember, you may just have your hand against your thigh or you might be holding onto the side of the chair. Depends on how it is. And then your hand holding. So you can see I've got the back of my chair. Tummy facing the front to begin with. Press into your feet. Draw in your tummy button. So we're ready to start. We haven't started. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, turn your tummy button. Pull against your chair. Pull against your thigh on the side of your chair. And twist the tummy button. Twist your ribcage. Your shoulders hopefully facing sideways on. And turn your head. Keep looking behind. Check that your chin is tucked in. Three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. So leave your shoulders, everything where it is, but just turn your head the other way. It's just your head turning, looking over the other shoulder. Let's take three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. So a double twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your head back between your shoulders. Just leave back your chair. Come back to the front. So... Remember the twists, as well as giving your spine a nice twist, it's your digestive system, so good for constipation. Don't bother with a, 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 a pill or anything, just do a twist. So hands to the side, hands on your chair. So sitting nice and tall to begin with, press into your feet, breathe in. And remember the twist starts at your belly button, pull against your thigh, pull against your chair, Tummy, rib cage, shoulders hopefully facing sideways off, and turn your head. Keep twisting your head to the front. Three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out, then just turn your head, only your head, everything stays exactly where it is, to look the other way. Have your eyes looking downwards, draw in your tummy. Three breaths, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, breathe in. Breathe out, bring your head back between your shoulders, bring your shoulders to face the front, and just close your eyes. Keep everything nice and soft. Just draw your chin in, make sure your spine feels nice and tall. And just take a couple of breaths. So the twists, as well as uh, working on the physical level, so to twist the spine, give your digestive system a twist, and they also work on the emotional level. So if you've got a problem, you need untangling the twist. So just that. And then just take your arms by your side. So breathe in, lift them up to the ceiling. Look up as you stretch. A slight back bend. Breathe out. Bring your arms down by your side. And breathe in and again. Press into your feet. Imagine you're about to stand as you look up, breathe out, bring your arms by your side. Two more, breathe in, look up, press into your feet, breathe out, and one more, breathe in, look up, breathe out, and down. And then just hands on your thighs, start your legs moving, or have your hands probably by your side. It's more comfortable. Let's not forget the legs as we've been doing the top of the body. So just lift your knees. So just lift your knees. Nice. 
and gently and then just bring your feet back on the floor just perhaps take your feet out to the side again as though you're about to do that plie thing arms by your side just take your arms out to the side bring your fingers onto your uh, uh, shoulders your elbows don't let them droop keep them high so breathe in twist to one side breathe out twist to the other breathe in twist gently to one side breathe out twist to the other breathe in and twist breathe out twist out. breathe in and twist, breathe out, the other, two more, breathe in, and twist, last one, breathe out, the other, just come back to the front, arms down by your side, work your feet back in front of you, so um, let's do the one for coordination, so this means that as you straighten the leg, you lift the opposite arm, so as you straighten the leg, you lift the opposite arm so just join it in so as long as you're lifting opposite arm leg what you want to do so just lifting one arm lifting the other lifting one arm lifting the other lifting and lifting just get your brain right left working a little let's make uh the next one the last so just make the next the last hands just resting on your thighs and just again just drop your chin push up the back of your neck if you can remember which way you went the last time try and do it different start with the other side and just nice gentle like a pendulum just twisting and then just blink your eye so we're going to do the um cat one really cat cow so uh, i'll just turn my chair so you can see it better so this is the one remember you've got your um hands just holding onto i'm going to get my block beneath my feet so, otherwise you see that my legs aren't in a good uh, so have your um hands just at the back of your chair if you can grab hold of it so this is the one you breathe in you arch your back pull your sh uh, shoulders so that your chest is sticking out close your teeth as you breathe out collapse your lower back drop your chin so let's try a few so breathe in Arch your lower back. Just feel your rib cage open, looking upwards. Close your teeth. Breathe out. Drop your chin. Your lower back collapse. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Just look up. Arch your lower back. Close your teeth. Breathe out. <laughs> Drop your chin. One more, everybody. Breathe in. Just look up. Breathe out. And down. And then just bring your hands on your thighs. And um, let's do quickly the one for your um, pancreas. So rub your hands together. I'm going to do it sideways on so you see it. Make fists with your thumb on the inside of your hands. Press against your belly button a bit higher up. Just your belly button. So breathe in. As you breathe out, press quite hard and come forward. So you're just pressing into the pancreas. Sits behind the stomach. It's quite hard. To Breathe. Breathe in. Out. Let's do it again. Breathe out. So press in as you come forward. Breathe in. Come back up. Let's just do one last one. Breathe out. Press. Quite high. 
child come forward. Breathe in, come back up. And just rub your hands, just shake your hands a couple of times. So time to relax, everybody. So just get comfortable in your chair. If you need something warm to put on or a blanket. And try not to fall out. That's the part. I don't think I need a blanket. It's so sunny. So just make yourself comfortable. And then if you're comfortable with your eyes shut, have your eyes shut. So just a few minutes to relax. So if you're sitting in your chair, make sure you can feel your back is nice and supported. So just when you're ready, have your eyes gently shut. And just take your awareness to your breathing. So feel the in-breath as you draw it in through the nostrils. When you're ready to breathe out, feel the out breath as it leaves the nostrils. And notice the difference between the in-breath and the out. Nice and gently, if your eyes are shut, just take your awareness to your face, to your forehead. Feel your forehead smooth, soft, relaxed. And as your forehead relaxes, just feel your scalp relax. And as your scalp relaxes, just let your brain relax. Front back, sides, as though it's found a bit more room just to ease into. And then take your awareness back to your eyes, eyes soft, smiling. Feel your cheekbones relax, your cheeks. See if you can feel your ears relax. Feel your nostrils relax. Take your awareness to your mouth. Lips just slightly parted. Inside your mouth, your tongue soft, relax. No tension in your face. And take your awareness to your feet, to the skin on the soles of your feet. Should feel soft, gentle, relax. Take your awareness to your heels, your ankles, your calf muscles, your knees, thighs, hips. Feel your hips wide, open, relaxed. Just feel the small of your back, releasing, relaxing. The back of your ribcage resting against the chair. And take your awareness to the front of your body. Shoulders, relax. Take your awareness to the top of your arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists. Feel the skin on the palms of your hands, on the insides of your wrists, lower arms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders. No tension in your fists, no tension in your body. And just for a moment or two, just visualize your chair. And it's sitting on a little piece of wood, and your piece of wood is sitting on a sandy beach. And you're just sitting, looking out towards the water. The sky is blue, not a cloud in the sky, the sun is high. Behind you are little hills with grass just leading away from the beach. The little cliffs, very little low cliff tacking. In front of you, the sea stretching out. Beneath you, the sand, golden sand, quite dry, fine, where you are near the seashore, it's damper, darker. You can see the waves just coming in gently and re 
retreating gently. You hear the sound of the water. You just enjoy all the different colors, sights of you. So the blue, the turquoise, gray of the sea, the blue of the sky, the golden sand, the grass in the, behind you at the top of the cliff edges. And you feel relaxed. You feel the energy around you. So it comes up through your chair, into your body, comes down from the sky, from the sun, from the sea. Just feel the energy just all around you. It's, it's, it's as though it cleanses your own energy centers. So at the base of the spine, a circle of red light connected to being grounded, secure, and you want it bright, strong, spinning, turning in the next energy center, the level of the genitals, the orange center of life, connected to water, creativity, you want it strong and bright. And then a little higher up at your belly button, the circle of yellow light, it's your own personal sun, so you want it as strong, as bright as can be. And the next energy center, the level of the heart, the green circle of life. Cool. Connected to touch, to skin. And it feels strong, bright. The next energy center, the hollow of your throat, the bright blue circle of connected to sky, ether, space, to listening, to speaking, to how you communicate. Feel it strong, bright, spin, turn, and it moves the energy above in the third eye, the indigo circle of light. And above that, at the crown of your head, the white violet halo of light. And all your energy centers are spinning, turning, strong, bright. And then you come aware that you're no longer outside, but you're sitting on your chair in your room. And slowly you begin to move your feet, move your toes, move your hands, your fingers. And then just stretch and your so as you stretch, stretch your legs out, stretch your hands out. So big stretch, breathe out, hands on thighs. Let's do two more big stretches. Breathe in, the big stretch, breathe out. And last one, breathe in, the big stretch, breathe out. And then just have your hands on your thighs. Let's take three nice breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, breathe in, breathe out. Just rub your hands together, feel the warmth, the energy. Just place them at your eyes, your fingertips crisscrossed at your forehead. Just three breaths, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just bring your hands into the master, the greeting pose. We just finish with Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om the universal sound, Shanti, meaning peace. Thank you. And we should thank Lululemon because they're sponsoring this program. So that's, we'll thank them. Thank you. Right. I'll come, come back. Is everybody all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. I, have to, I have to dash because I'm taking my brother to the hospital in Edinburgh this afternoon.